study with me. When I was told I'd be giving a speech at graduation, I said, it sounds great, I'll see you guys on May 24th. What I thought was, are you kidding me? There will be a lot of people. What do I even say to them? Leaving the guidance counselor's office, I quickly turned to my two best friends in sophomore year's names, MacBook and Google. As I scrolled through the pages of Google search results, the only links that appeared showed the sample valley occurring speakers. This hard, I decided to turn to humans for an answer. I asked each of my three fellow speakers what they were going to talk about for their speeches, thinking they were in the same boat as me. However, that was not the case. Mariah said that her purpose was to recount class memories, Kaya said that his purpose was to give advice, and Mr. Nelson said he had no idea why he was even chosen to speak. <laughs> Frustrated that neither man nor machine could answer my question of what a school courage should say during their speech, I was ready to give up my search. In April, however, Kyle sent me a link to an article entitled Salutatorian vs. Valedictorian Battle of Congratulating Speeches. <laughs> According to this article, the sole purpose of my speech is to steal this thunder. Instead, I continue to read, looking for a tip or two. Thankfully, the author left me with six steps to make my speech become a thing of legend, effectively leaving Kyle's speech in the dust. <laughs> Step number one Set realistic goals for the future. While Kyle will spend the next 30 years of his life trying to end poverty, war, and disease, the rest of us will be able to accomplish my much simpler and realistic goals. That being said, I have come prepared with two goals in mind. Goal number one, learn at least one good joke. People like humor. Goal number two, always buy the owner's properties in Monopoly. The probability of other players landing him three orange squares is higher than the other properties. It's giving you a much better <laughs> Wow, this speech thing is really easier than I thought. <laughs> Step two, don't use any cliché quotes. The audience finds it easier to relate to a figure of today rather than, say, Ralph Waldo Emerson. I believe the quote I have chosen accurately sums up the mood in the room right now. R-E-L-A-X, Eric Rogers. What does this mean? Relax, because the speech is nearly over. I can hear you mathematicians out there yelling at me, saying there are four steps left. I'm not even halfway done. Don't worry, these next ones fly by quick. Speaking of quick, step three is to make the speech as short as possible. Because the other three speeches you'll hear today are bound to be long, all of the audience members will appreciate me for being respectful of your time today. Moving on. <laughs> Step four is simple yet effective. Don't mention friendship. I'm sure all of us here today know that it is, friendship is important for life, and we should treasure each moment we have with each other before those moments cease to exist. Instead of friendship, I can mention something equally as important for life, laughter. In fact, they are both so important that they typically go hand in hand. No one can give me the laugh with my best when we all have a little bit of fun in life, let loose a few laughs as time seems to fly by. When time flies by, speeches seem shorter than they are. When speeches seem shorter than they are, the salutatorian speech becomes more memorable than the valedictorian speech. <laughs> Step five will take a little bit of audience participation, if you don't mind. Step five is to simply have the audience rise. So if you are able, please stand up. The reasoning behind this step is pretty straightforward. Science has proven that people retain information better when the act of information is shared with an action. For example, when learning foreign language, it helps to act out the word while repeating it. Hello. Hola. And so on, until your brain remembers that waving hello is the same as waving hola in Spanish. In the same way, the next time you all stand up, you will think of my speech, further cementing my reputation in your own You guys can sit down. I won't make a <laughs> Step six, sadly, is no simple project. It says here that rhyming will have a crowd pleasing effect. In writing this speech, I had time to reflect. All throughout high school, we've had the chance to connect to our classmates, our teachers, our favorite subject. But in coming years, when we look back and reflect, the memories we have will not be what we expect. Our high school years weren't always perfect. What we remember most, if I may interject, is not what we had, but what we left to neglect. For example, missing biology seems completely correct, but it may be that thing that we wish to dissect. However, when we are sad and the thoughts of regret, those are the thoughts that we must redirect. Never please label these years as defect, nor from your mind these years eject. Look back on high school with views of respect, the time when your dreams were easy to protect. To ensure you remember the speech of those future thoughts and select, I have to answer one misdirect. My succession of words has been simple to expect, but in order to remember my advice, I can't end this speech on the wrong. Yes. <laughs> in the end, there are two types of people. Those who were entertained by my speech, and those who weren't. <laughs> According to the article, the goal of my speech was not to entertain, it was just to be better than the valid courage. <laughs> However, I know that is not the true reason why I would best speak today. With Mariah and Kyle covering thank you to invite some memories, it was 
truly a struggle with finding an idea for the city. Before I end, however, I would like to extend my own personal gratitude to all of our teachers, faculty, and parents for giving my classmates and teachers this day. I am truly appreciative of all of the efforts you have put towards our educational success. All in all, I truly hope that everyone takes at least one thing away from the speech this afternoon. Also, the Detroit question on the side, maybe that is the point of any speech, to connect with the audience in some way. If you are struggling to make this connection, let me help you out. Remember, I'm the guy who made you stand up because I didn't know what to talk about. Thank you. <laughs>